Andy, if you'll read the statement of open meeting law. I, the undersigned clerk of the Board of Education of Oaks School District I-3 of Woods County, Oklahoma, do hereby certify that prior to December the 15th, the last calendar year, the date, time, and place of this regular scheduled meeting was filed at the office of the clerk, Woods County, Oklahoma. If any change has been made <coughs> of the date, time, or place of this regular scheduled meeting, prior proper notice and writing has been given to the clerk as required by law no less than 10 days the implementation of said change. Also certify that at least 24 hours prior to the meeting, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays, that the date, time, and place and agenda of this meeting was posted in prominent public view of the location of this meeting. Witness my hand and seal this of this school district this uh, fifth day of December 2016. George. Here. Olson. Blaylock. Ferguson. Here. Zook. Here. Any visitors comments? No visitors comments. All of the following items will be approved by one vote unless any board member desires to have a separate vote of, on any or all of these items. The consent agenda consists of the discussion, consideration, and approval of the following items A through H. I move we approve the consent agenda. Do you have a second? I'll second. Yes. 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 <clears throat> Anything on the financial? Uh, Basically, our, our gross production is pretty much in line, and if you've been watching, you know gas is up right now, oil's up over $50, so if that'll maintain for for a month, uh, you know, it looks like we're going to be, there's no reason for me to think that we won't be really, really close to what we were last year in gross production, which is kind of what we've been, uh, what our carryover's been increasing, so, so positive there. Uh, uh, far as our expenditures they're they're within five thousand dollars of last year at this time so you know everything just seems to be uh, on par with last year which was a which was a good year so I'll just keep watching it other reports superintendent uh, did you run off those did, did you hand me those did you run off those schedules okay uh, I've got basketball tournament schedules for this week that I'll hand you, and uh, uh, also today, uh, Jay Adair called me and he sent me drawings of the uh, proposed sidewalks. They, you know, they've got that kind of master plan figured out, and I'm supposed to meet with him and and uh, make sure our uh, our bus routes are are covered. You know, that's that's part of it. Safe safe way to get to school. So uh, I got those drawings today. I'll meet with him the next day or two uh, to make sure that the sidewalks are, are close to our. Did she end those out already? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if y'all want one of those or not. But got one? Okay. So anyway, that starts Thursday night. Girls play at 7, boys play at 8.20. On the, on the sidewalk deal, when, when are they proposing to start this, do you know? No, no I, I didn't ask him when. And uh, when they were supposed to start that, I thought about that later on this afternoon when I was running the bus routes to make try to figure out exactly where all he had mapped. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, I hadn't talked to him since, and I didn't ask him when he was going to start. Okay. Uh, fence and the soft and uh, around the elementary and uh, cover over the uh, softball bleachers. You know that's still ongoing. Uh, Guy from the fence company called me today and said his wife's been having some uh, medical issues, so he's a couple of weeks behind. I told him, well, just you know, give me a couple of days' notice. You know, we, we want it up, but we understand when the problems like that happen. So, so uh, did you ever get a um, a drawing or a cost on the softball deal? Yes. Uh, let's see where I have that. Make you a copy if you want a copy, but there's the there's the drawings. And, uh, I think there's one more. Yeah, that's the sheets. Okay, so it, oh, okay. You, you have your three. You have your three <coughs> posts that, that will be in cement, right. and then this actually touches the backstop, the but backstop. it's it's not really. Load bearing. Or, okay. It is, but it's not. This is your loads coming off of those three posts. Those three, three posts. Okay. So, so it'll more or less still fit the two sets of bleachers yes. that we already yes. have. Yes, those will be covered. 
those will be covered. And, mm -hmm. okay. and then we'll put some kind of screen or net on this side because when that sun gets down like it, yeah. you know, late in the evening, it goes right, it'll go under there. <coughs> So it's about 15.8 and 15.8 is what, 31.6 wide? Mm -hmm. 10 foot tall? 30, 33 is what he's. Well, yeah, well, yeah, the poles, poles, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the poles, yeah. Well, nice. Yeah. And he's supposed to be, he's supposed to have me a uh, drawing also on the, uh, I'm going to put this back on your desk. Okay. The drawing also on a bathroom down at the ag building that I'm doing on that. You're still waiting on that, you yeah. said? Okay. And, and somebody said he's good, but you got to stay after him, and I have figured that out. <laughs> he's a nice guy. He likes to talk. And the rest of it, I, I'll just wait till uh, till we get to the next agenda item on the building projects. Uh, here's my... <laughs> <No, I haven't. laughs> there it is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, principal's report. Is he down uh, he, to he had Christmas a, or? He had a funeral. He had a funeral today. Oh, okay. in Hinton. So. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. So I don't know if they're back yet. Uh, anybody have any questions? Okay, discussion and review of proposed building project. Okay, uh, basically what I have on that is they have started the they've started the detailed drawings, and then they're supposed to be. One of the architects from Boynton Williams is supposed to be here again tomorrow. Uh, you know, they were here what, two or three weeks ago and, and went. And they've started the detailed drawings that the bids will be off of. Uh, they're going to come back and and look and make sure they haven't left something out or whatever. So he's supposed to be here early in the morning to give it one more uh, visual. And he said it could take you know six weeks for the detailed drawings to be completed, and then they'll turn them over to uh, Joe Hall and. Joe Hall will do the put out the bid packets. Have, so. have you seen the picture of the? Yes. Okay. I guess you've seen them too, Rick. No, Rick had seen them, not off my computer. No. Okay. Do we, you see, you've got updated ones. I, I haven't seen the newest ones. No, you haven't seen the newest. No, you probably haven't seen the newest ones if you haven't seen them off my computer. Okay. No, no, okay. Sure. Okay, I'll, pull, I'll pull them up <coughs> when we get done. And they have they decided that they can do it without the post, or that he, he hasn't? Decided? He still hasn't made that determination, as far as I know, unless they just did since Thursday or Friday, whenever I talked to him. And maybe that guy coming tomorrow can. Maybe he'll know that when he gets here tomorrow. And what Mindy's talking about there, they're they're trying to take out there's there's two uh, of the cement tiles. That are uh, that, that stick out mm -hmm. uh, columns, and they think that they can do away with those and run a beam across, and then have solid windows instead of having those to break up the the windows into three pieces. It would be solid window across there. I mean, you know, framed out, but you'd still be able to see through everything. So that's what they're trying to do. The first architect, Nick, he thought he thought that it, that that could be done. That the the beam could be across there where you'd have the, just the whole glass from door to door. And the glasses and the doors be glasses, so that'll be nice It'll if they sure, can. Yeah. yeah, it'll work the other way, but it'll be better right. if they can run a beam across there. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions on building projects? Uh, do we need to go ahead and vote on for this to solicit the sale bids, or do we need to wait till they have the no, just go ahead. Just go ahead and do it in that way. And if we if we vote to do eight and nine, then when it's all finished, uh, you know, you guys will be notified. If we need to come back and do something different, we can. But if not, I can turn it straight over to Joe Hall, and then he can go. Okay. And not have to wait for a meeting. So when you get the detailed drawings, though, you're going to let everybody look at them. Yes. Before we yes. Go yes. Ahead and, yes. Okay. Before I turn them over to Joe Hall, we'll all look at them again. Okay. All right. Uh, do we have a motion to vote to approve or not to approve the solicit to solicit sealed bids for the gym renovation project? I'll move. I'll second. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. 
Vote to approve or not to approve Jody Hall, general contractor, as construction manager, which includes soliciting sealed bids for the gym renovation project. I'll move. Give a second. Second. Danny. Yes. 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 Okay, next is vote to approve or not to approve the schedule of regular board meetings of the Lenoke Board of Education for the 2017 calendar year. And these are basically on the same list that we've had for the last three or four years. The you, you see that June 39th one, uh, June 29th one uh, is on a Thursday, and that's just to close out the year. Uh, the September 5th is Tuesday after Labor Day. Uh, the January 9th one, uh, that's actually the second Monday, but we come back on that Monday. We're not here the two weeks before, so there's really no use in having a, it'd be like having a board meeting and having a board meeting two nights later almost. We didn't have anything done. Lori would be having a fit, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have any discussion on that? I don't think it'll make any difference next year, but. We've had some controversy on having these board meetings on Monday night when they're junior high mm -hmm. ball games. Um, I guess we could look into that later on, maybe if we decide to change those or something to okay. to change them. You got to have two weeks notice. Well, yeah, I know, but yeah, I mean, we'd know earlier yeah. on. But I don't think it'll make any difference next year. Are there any in January or February that that affects? I'm sure there is because the basketball games are Well, I meant <laughs> uh, the ninth or the the sixth. Is that a issue? Oh, I can look on the camera here. The ninth we do have fifth and sixth, and it is at Timberlake. At Timberlake. Well, that'd be probably seventh and eighth too, wouldn't it? Yeah, fifth and sixth. Seventh and eighth. So that would affect. February is not a conflict. There's no games on that day. So January 10th, is there a high school game? January 10th, yes, there's high school ball games at Cherokee, so. I mean, it's gonna either affect him or. And me. Yeah, That's all right. so I mean. It's like, like corresponding dates, all we do, do we? Did somebody have that? Well, January 9th, there's 5th and 6th and 7th and 8th at Timberlake. But there's high school ball games on the tenth. Right. So. Uh -huh. I'd say let's just go ahead and prove them. We can change it later if we need to. Mm -hmm. Want two weeks, right? I'll move we accept the. Uh, yeah, two weeks on a regular schedule. Schedule. Board meeting schedule is presented. I will say. I'll vote yes. I'll vote yes. Yes. Okay, do we have any new business? No new business that I'm aware of. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll move. Second. Okay.